With all the recent advancements with uh, PixInsight, there are many features and capabilities that now require uh, both an optimization of file management and memory management on your computer. So this section is just going to go over a file management issue, and it deals with WBPP. One of the things that can happen is when WBPP creates files and writes files to the computer, sometimes the combination of the path plus the file name can be so long it exceeds 260 characters. Now, on many operating systems, there's a limit, an upper limit to how many characters a path and file name altogether can be. In Windows, which is what I'm going to demonstrate here, if you have your own operating system that's different than Windows, you will need to do the investigation. I'm sure there is some similar method uh, to take care of the issue. But in Windows, you can change a setting which will allow for longer path names. By default, the limit is 260 characters. So I'm going to demonstrate really quickly how to change it. First, let me just show you what the issue is. At least let me show you what the diagnostic is so that you understand um, what it looks like and then what to do. So when you run WBPP, one of the things that the developers have put in there is a check. They literally try to write the very beginning when you press the diagnostics button or the run button. It'll try to write a file, just a dummy file, that is greater than 260 characters. So when I hit diagnostics here, you'll see that there's a warning. It tried to write that file on my computer, just in some temporary space, and it couldn't do it. The operating system will not let it. So this warning will be here. Now, if you want that warning to go away so that you don't run into the ceiling of uh, file names and path names and all of that, you can uh, modify the, uh, you can modify basically a parameter in the registry of the computer. So I'm going to demonstrate how to do this um, with Windows, but you'll need to do this investigation if you don't have a Windows. You'll need to figure it out on your own machine. So you've seen what the error is there. Now I will show you how to do it here. You go to the registry editor where it controls all of the basically parameters for your computer system. Now I've already have it expanded here, so let me unexpand it. You'll probably load it and it looks like this. It'll say registry editor. You can just go right under the windows, uh, windows here and go right to it. And then you'll want to get one of these keys for your local machine. And then you go under system. So you go under this control set, then you go under control second control and then finally you make your way down to file system and here you're going to find one of the variables one of the parameters that you can adjust is this long paths thing it says long paths enabled that's the name of the variable so you right click on it to modify it and we can change the value from zero which is the default meaning no long paths to one which will allow it so I'm going to go ahead and change it to one, and that's it. That's all you've got to do. So you just need to do that navigation. I'll show you the navigation again. Um, and again, this is on, I'm using Windows 11 here, but it should be the same on uh, virtually any Windows machine. So you go to the local machine here, you go to system, current control set, then you go under control, where you'll find under file system, long paths. That's it. Okay. So, in order, now just changing that variable doesn't do the job, I now need to restart the computer. I think there is a way to update the registry, so I don't need to do a restart, but uh, certainly the way to get it to take effect is to restart the computer. So I'll be back in just a moment. Okay, so I've rebooted my machine, which means I can now go into WBPP. And this time, it's just going to reload that same data set that I had loaded in there before. Uh, but this time, it's, it should remember everything. And when it checks for the diagnostics, when I press the diagnostics button, we shouldn't see that warning. Ta-da! No more warning. So once that change is in effect, um, you don't have to worry about it anymore. Something about that, though, is that I read that certain old programs might care about that particular variable name being set to long for some reason. So there is some very small, you know, uh, attention that you might need to give to other programs which might not like that fact. 
Uh, but as far as WBPP is, and PixInsight is concerned, that fixes that problem. Otherwise, you'll just see that warning. Now, if your file paths are not actually too long, seeing that warning is no big deal. Uh, but if you just want to you know, set it and forget about it, then this is how you go about doing it. I hope you enjoyed this very quick update on uh, WBPP and the long file names so that because this is a new thing that people are going to be seeing, everyone is going to see it very likely due to the default settings um, in operating systems. So this is how to adjust it or how to consider adjusting it to make life easier.